Note to self. Next time you're walking alone late at night on a deserted downtown street lined with darkened shops and some drunken goon leans out of a pickup truck shouting, Hey, bang it! Do not blow him a kiss. Instead, consider these alternate courses of action. Hey, bang it! Pray. Pull your keys out and approach the nearest doorway as though to let yourself in. Pull out your wallet, flip it open, and begin barking urgently into it as though it were the cell phone your girlfriend's been pestering you to pick up for the past six months. Run. Like a son of a bitch. Note to self, next time you blow a kiss at some drunken goon in a pickup truck, pissing him off so much that he pulls over to beat the bejesus out of you. <laughs> Do not go into that ludicrous kung fu stance that you got off the television. Rather, run like a son of a bitch. Note to self, next time some drunken goon is beating the bejesus out of you and you manage to tip him over briefly, do not presume that this trivial fleeting victory is a consequence of your power and prowess. And most definitely, do not snap at him. Who's the faggot now? You sad ass milk toasted mother. Bear in mind that this is a drunken goon you're dealing with. A goon so drunken that he collapsed twice on his way from the pickup truck to you. Bear in mind too that there may be another drunken goon in the pickup truck. A bigger and slightly less drunken drunken goon. Note to self. Next time a bigger and slightly less drunken drunken goon clambers out of a pickup truck, consider better late than never. Running like a son of a bitch. Note to self, next time some drunken goon has clonked you with an empty 40 ounce or and you're getting your head stitched up, do not remark to the doctor, it'd be one thing if I actually were a faggot. Consider the possibility that the doctor will have a personal reason for taking offense at this comment. Consider the statistic you came upon recently in an article on the nature-nurture debate with regard to homosexuality. Consider how your luck has gone so far this evening. Do not try to salvage the situation by announcing, a lot of my best friends are gay. Even if there is a smidgen of truth to this statement, rather feign the symptoms of concussion. Realize you don't actually need to feign such symptoms since in fact you're feeling woozy, disoriented. <laughs> Note to self, next time your girlfriend's driving you home from the hospital where you had your head stitched up and she says to you, You know, when I first met you, I actually thought you were gay. Do not snap back at her. Yeah, well, you've always struck me as pretty goddamn butch. Instead, attempt to construe her remark as a compliment, a fond reference to your sublime sensitivity, that sort of thing. You know, when I first met you, I actually thought you were gay. Consider saying, thank you. Note to self, next time your girlfriend's forgiven you for referring to her as butch, and she's tucked you into bed with an ice pack on your head and a hot water bottle under your back. She's kissing her way down your chest, down your belly. You get some sense you're in for some serious loving. Do not begin to wonder if there isn't actually something ever so slightly masculine about her. The squared off jaw, the broad brow, whether this isn't part of the attraction and whether those goons mightn't actually have been onto something. Rather, abandon yourself to the annihilating perfection of the moment.